Kawasaki's Z1000SX. Beautiful bike. We're going to go for rides in a minute on it. This has been down the road. Spot the damage on the slider. And the fact that it should have more green in it. But you get what you get. 2015. Let's go for a ride on it. Oh, cool air. So guys, here we are on a little ride about. You've just seen the bike. I had one of these when they first came out in 2011. They were sold to me as the new sports tourer. When really it was like a ZX10 with sit out bars. I didn't have a lot of good things to say about it at that time, I must admit. 80 miles and you had major bum saw. Let's just jump out in front here. Wee! You got a nice bit of speed if you want it. I'm gonna get splatted down. You can filter in these bikes, except when someone's doing something weird like that. Van. I mean, where is he going now? Right hand, left hand? Who knows? This is a 2015 model, we're now 2018. There's a few little adjustments they've made, but generally it's the same bike as I bought way back in 2011. I bought it for £10,000 from Seastar in Norwich. It was sold to me as the new Sports Tourer. Let's go back behind here, I'm not the to speed today. We had it for about three weeks and I must admit, it was not the most comfortable bike. We were um, visiting Norwich at the time, so about 80 mile trips. And I have to say it was uncomfortable and you had to stop. Fuel tank 18 litres and uh, that wasn't an awful lot for a Tourer. We had to bring it back after about five weeks to get the panniers put on it and oh my god, they just ruined the bike. They slapped this pannier racking system on it, it looked ugly, it was Neanderthal, this huge metal railing around the back of the bike. They lowered the lights as well, put another light on it, it was a mess. The first thing I said to him when he handed it back to me is, what have you done to my bike? It just looked disgusting. We kept it for about eight months I guess, being brand new and we're not a couple of touring on it and it just it just was not a touring bike now getting on this after my triumph trophy which is an armchair where you don't feel any bumps you don't feel anything connection with the road it's a lovely ride though this you are really connected to the road unless it's a pothole or a discarded sweet wrapper and you bloody know it because he does take off a little bit oh diesel always be careful when you go another diesel that little line you see there i can smell it as well actually so a nice bus or van or lorry has left off the cap and it just pours diesel everywhere which you could imagine is very dangerous for a motorbike and I'm glad it didn't come off then. What are these? ZX10 sister. You are sitting up so you do feel the wind. There's a thousand cc engine here or actually a thousand and forty three I think it is. Six speed gearbox on these. They are light easy to ride you do get a bit of wind but hey you know i've been riding the armchair so i've just got to get used to that again i've also been used to the fly-by-wire throttle system so now they've got the old cable on here and i'll tell you what <laughs> it hurts the wrist a little bit you know um, maybe i need stronger wrists to cut the bikes again the jacks didn't seem this bad it really is quite tight whether it's this model or not i don't know this bike has been down the road someone's played with it and that could be what the problem is Great mirrors, nice riding position except say unless you want to do a long journey on it. Um, my instrument panel is not just here now, it's also from here as well. So you get other little bits of information I can't quite see here, maybe I should put some glasses on I guess. But you get your usual miles and temperature and how far before fill ups and so on. You've also in this one got um, F and S, whatever that is, I'm not quite sure what that is actually. Let's leave that alone while we're riding though. But you've got different modes on this one, I may have to read up on them. Although no one likes doing it, it isn't a bad idea sometimes reading the old manual, you know. Acceleration! Yes, it has got some. Uh, I was just going to come off up here, but you know what, I'll go down my little ridey patch and uh, you can see the acceleration. It has got some, I must admit, but you are going to feel the wind. This screen is a bit pathetic, it's just two, it goes up and down by about seven inches, I suppose. Oh, thought about it, thank you. Really are quite nice to angle. This one's just had an MOT. Chain's good on it. 
indicators, lights, it's Kawasaki. I said to you before, if you cut me in half sometimes, I'd be a Kawasaki man through and through. I'm glad that's got the panniers on though. They, you know, you just fit a handbag in them. Let's just see what it goes around with that. Ooh, is that truck chucking it? Oh, look at that. Nicely. Let's see acceleration. It's got it there. I think that was in top glass. In fourth then. So it wasn't exactly a pull away. You can feel it underneath you, I must admit. Now, the sound of the bike, it's got a little grunt to it. <laughs> You know, so it's having them great big screens in front of me now, or you can tuck down. But um, I've got used to having that. So when you get the wind blowing against you and through your helmet, you know, I must admit it's quite loud. I'm just barely hitting 70, really. So we're going to round this roundabout. Balancing on this bike. Uh, I've got a video to show you. The um, person obviously had messed around with it. These are supposed to be two, they're supposed to be five, and the front and back one and three quarters and so on. I'll read them out to you later. I've done a little video actually of it, but it wasn't balanced right. I couldn't, when I did this now, and I felt like I was banking in, it didn't feel like I was banking in properly. Does that make sense? I mean, look, I'm getting over a little bit now. Knee out, get down a bit, and then come out here. feels nice now. It did not feel right. It felt like I was trying to fight the way in and out of the bend. It really, really did. I wasn't impressed with it at all. Gearbox is lovely and smooth on this. I've had a couple of bikes now that have been really smooth gearboxes and I've found other ones haven't been. I just think realistically I just stalled it there trying to find a fucking side stand. Dick. As you get to look round her, She's a lovely looking bike. You might notice it's got a green bum and a black bit. That's where this has been touched up a little bit. I think someone put black fairings on her. The sliders, I can't decide what to do with these crash bungs. It seems to be scratch. I was thinking of rubbing it all down, making it look pretty, or taking them off, I can't decide. But there's a few tiny little scratches on her. And I say the exhaust I'm gonna sort out as well. I've got a lovely set of exhausts coming, unfortunately from China. Good old eBay. I looked purposefully on there for one same England sales. I purchased it and then it says coming from China. And then I get DHL and tell me you've got £16 tax to pay. Not happy. Anyway, 2015 model. I'm going to black this rather than green it, although I might decide. A couple of videos coming up then. It'll be exhausts doing the suspension. Oh, you've got your rebound and springs. That's these. I'll give you the measurements of them. I've got front adjustment on this side. Adjustment in there as well. And not alone this one. This one's got obviously manual. Early ones had a manual adjustment here. This one's still manual, but a lot easier to get hold of. Like. Oh, it does sound nice. Six and a half thousand miles on the clock on this one. There you go. Let's finish off this by riding home, shall we? There you go, guys. Hopefully you've had a little look around. And now you can join me when I uh, come in with this silver car. I mean, yeah, it's pulling away, lovely. Let's just jump out quickly now. I didn't realize this car was going so slow, but it is. You should always look over your shoulder. Don't ever just jump out. I mean, that, this is 70 mile an hour here, and that car, well, I don't know, it's doing 45. That can be dangerous. I've always said this, slow is just as bad as going fast. Thank you very much. Never was putting your hand out. What do you think of this camera view, guys? Fucking stop saying guys. What do you think of this camera view? Someone said I've got it sus for vlogging. Oh, I don't know about vlogging. But anyway, nice roundabout. Let's dock it down here. Come round here and give it some of that. You wouldn't believe how difficult this bike was the other day to pull into the bends. And I thought it just because I got off the Triumph trophy and got on this, I felt uncomfortable going around the bend. And when I got home, I uh, thought, no bugger it. I look at the old suspension setup and I never touch it normally. They're all set up for around about the right weight of a person. So I don't know, between 12 stone, I suppose. They're all set up for that. And I never touched them myself, but because someone had played with this bike, I thought, do you know what, I'll just have a look. And they were all out, all over the place. And it's surprising, 
well, for me, not for you probably, it's surprising how I noticed that having the suspension out, that was one, that was two, that was seven, that was three, it was literally all messed up. That when I tried to come into a bend, it didn't bounce right. Obviously the suspension as you bend into a corner, it moves around and so on. It's surprising how uncomfortable it was for me. Hmm. New houses, they're fucking building new houses everywhere. And then we've got a water shortage. Have not got the infrastructure. Don't get me started. Wait here while red light. Well, it's not red, it's green. I've got to say, it just feels a lot, lot better now. This really does. I feel I can move into any bend. It just feels nice and smooth to wiggle in. The rear suspension, this is the rebound and pre-adjustment and the cold springs and stuff, they're the rebounds. If it's not rebounding right, it's not running right. So if you get a bike, and you get on it and it's obviously second hand, it doesn't feel right. Don't just think you might have to get used to it. Have a look at the settings of the suspension, rebound, shocks and so on. Have a look at them. If you don't know what you're doing, go to a garage. But while I'm saying that, I've seen some of these setups before and they charge, I don't know, between two and five hundred pounds to get your bike. Super setup! No, come on. Put it back to standard. I'm not a fat git. Well, I, some of the videos you may see I am. But I'm not an extra fat git, and if you are a fat git, you're not going to be throwing it into the corner anyway. Unless you're a professional fat git, you get what I'm trying to say. Set it up standard, adjust as you please, but make sure they're even. These have got to be even. This wasn't. And now I'll tell you, it feels much, much better. Accelerating as well. Now, on the accelerator here, there's two little uh, adjustments. They were wrong as well, and I felt it really quite tough to open up and shut. I adjusted them perfectly now, and yeah, what a difference it makes. I was unhappy with it, and it made me think back when I bought the new one. I think, well, I wasn't really happy with that. I moaned and groaned. But now this does feel a lot, lot better. You still feel the bumps on the road. You're going to. But your wrists aren't going to hurt you as much as, let's say, a sports bike. You, you're more set up and big. You can lean down a little bit on these bikes. It's not too bad. Rear pillion seat. I think you see that. There's not a lot there, is there? Mind you, if you've got a girl who wants to get on the back, who's used to a small little butt, and fit on there nice and tight, then away you go. Now, I'm not just saying my missus got a big butt or anything, but I've got a nice, comfortable seat. Even a heated seat, yes. Ah, do you know what I've had for ages now? You don't see I'm doing it. Bugs on my screen. <laughs> you know, don't forget to bring some of that old spray and a little cloth with you, because you are going to get your bugs stuck to your face. There's no fair in there to protect that. You've got a little bit of open up if you want to. You know, you can go round things if you really want to. I'm not speeding today. I mean, I never speed. <coughs> Now, I could clearly see well up that hill, just in case anyone wonders why I pulled out on that little bend there. I could see it, there's nothing coming. And there's an advert now out there saying, think and don't be scared to pull back in again. And that's very true. Don't be worried. If you don't, don't feel committed, there's nothing on with pulling the brake and pulling back in. Unless a dickhead car, which I don't normally brake and let you go by and almost speed up or something daft. I say dickhead car. You know, I'm a car driver and a motorbike rider, and I do believe everybody should do both. I've said it before. If you're in a car, get in a bike. If you're a bike, get in a car. Here's something I haven't had for a while. I'm getting a hot bum from the exhausts, from, from the back heat of them. And again, I haven't had that for a while. I dare say on a really hot day on a long journey, you are going to cook the back of your legs. Quite pleasant ride, though. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little vlog. We'll get back round the bike in a second. We did a video, like I normally do, around the front of it, and I thought that would be nice, and I then decided to do the vlog as well. So I'm going to amalgamate both of them in together, so you get a look round the bike, you can have a go on it, with me! And then back round my house again. So editing it takes some time, you know. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the ride. I did. Anyway, coming up videos. Exhausts. And see what exhausts are coming. I've got some nuts exhausts. However, as I said, they're from China. We shouldn't know about. But there you go. And I'm going to do a suspension video as well. Wavy discs. 120 front tyre. Single front lights. Both are now on a high beam. Small adjustment on the screen. And the little levers in here. And if you watch, it'll do it now. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's not amazing. <laughs> 
great mirrors switches here obviously kill switch and start remember this switch on mine i had must be an upgrade still get your flash high beam indicators um hazards on here which is always hand in horn but this selection switch here a nice simple dash you've got power mode on here you can select KTRC, it must be traction control and the power modes I'm guessing you've got oh low and high I guess F and L okay not sure what they are yet I have to read up on them and obviously you can go through traction control modes as well that's not bad is it and obviously the top switch does your trip meter trip B miles per gallon US and that is changing average miles per gallon range oh that's handy having a range on there and obviously clock and your temperature so not bad and there you go one hot mark savage in a beautiful july day the weather's supposed to stay like this actually so uh for another month i believe so a bit hot um, hope you enjoyed the vlog and please like subscribe share stick to my channel and i'll keep making them but there's a nice little ride of the z1000 sx and a little look round as well what more could you want